Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing my Sephora VIB holiday bonus event haul. So this is actually a try on haul because I don't have that much stuff. So I figured I would try most of it all on my face for you guys. So if you want to see what I picked up and how the items apply and work for me, then just keep watching. This haul is actually definitely the smallest VIB sale haul that I've ever done. I just wasn't as inspired to buy as much this time around because, I mean, for one, I already purchased everything full price when it came out, so there wasn't much that I needed to purchase. I don't, I'm on overload right now. There's just so much stuff. I couldn't do it. And I know a lot of you definitely felt the same for this sale as well, but I did pick up some stuff because I felt obligated to because there was a few things that I have actually wanted. So I just figured I'd do a try on haul because it's not a lot of stuff. So the first item that I have is a skin based item and this is a really awesome set. I've already mentioned it and this is the Farsali Skin Goals set. So I've never purchased anything from Farsali before besides the spray, but as far as these weird oils go. I've never purchased them. I always thought they were super gimmicky, but people do legitimately seem to be loving it. And it was only $25, 20% off $25. So whatever that is. So it comes with this Skin Tune Blur Smooth Unicorn Essence Prime Rose Gold Elixir Hydrate Volcanic Elixir Nourish. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the Rose Gold Elixir Hydrate because I washed my face but I did not put any moisturizer on and these are really tiny but just for sampling purposes since I've never tried anything from this brand I thought it was perfect so you just pick it up and this is this is what they do I don't know I want to use it sparingly because I'm scared but I know you all see how they apply it in all of the Instagram tutorials but I mean I can't imagine that all of these oils are really that amazing i don't know like a skin oil is really awesome but i don't know I have something about this brand just seems really gimmicky to me but this oil actually no lie it does feel pretty nice anyways i like a good skin oil i don't really know that there's going to be much of a difference between all of these but as an oil this feels nice so i'm gonna give it a couple of minutes to sink into my skin and then i'm going to put the necessity base products on that i don't have for this haul and i'll be back to show you the next item all right so most of the face is done so let's move on to the eyeshadow palette that i picked up and this is from charlotte tilbury this is one of her quads and you guys aren't going to believe that i actually didn't own this but this is exaggerize uh this is one of her classic eyeshadow quads and the reason i purchased this was because it was sold out at Sephora for the longest time and every time there's a 20% off sale I try to pick one of these up now I'm trying to build my collection of the Charlotte Tilbury eye quads so this one was finally in stock during the VIB sale so I picked this one up I've been wanting it really bad it's just classic it's not even necessarily unique colors but everybody loves this one it's super popular so let's try it out so of course i'm gonna start off with the only matte shade in here and on my eyelids i have a touch of concealer and we're gonna all over the crease area uh, just like most of her eyeshadow quads, it is blending out like butter. I applied that really messily. Please ignore that. I don't know how people do makeup on these little mini mirrors. I, I need a big mirror to see what I'm doing. Okay, and then we're going to go into this golden shade. I'm going to apply just a little bit to the outer half of my eyelid. Ooh, this would be really pretty all over the eyelid. And then we're going to take this formula that is very unique to Charlotte Tilbury. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. We're going to take a little bit of this color now and use that as an inner corner highlight. And what's really cool about Charlotte Tilbury shadows in general is you can build this look up to make it much deeper as well. You can really customize what you want on the eyelid, how deep you want it to be. And this particular palette is supposed to be super flattering for a lot of different eye colors. And I mean, it is super pretty. Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow quads definitely are not for everybody. It definitely can burn a hole in your wallet 
and for a lot of people I can see why these aren't worth it but you know I love the luxury experience so for me it's worth it but of course definitely not a necessity but I wanted it in my collection so the next thing I picked up is from Patrick Ta the majority of the stuff that I picked up I feel like from the sale is from Patrick Ta because I've been curious about his products so the sale was the perfect time to pick it up so I picked up one of the blushes and this is his monochromatic collection which is really pretty it really speaks to me and first of all absolutely stunning packaging really reflective just like a mirror so it gets really dirty but this is in she's sincere you have a big old mirror and it is quite a large pan and this is just a really pretty everyday peachy color so where's my blush brush right here so I have used this once before and I do really like it. Uh, it is a little bit sheer, but that I like because it is buildable. If your blush is too pigmented, sometimes that can make it hard to blend. So this one gives off just the right amount of pigmentation to where you can blend it. But as you can see, I am applying quite a lot and the color is absolutely beautiful. If you are heavy handed with blush, this might be a really good formula for you. So I wouldn't say this is my absolutely favorite formula. I do like a blush that does require a little bit of building, but I think this might need a smidge more building than I would prefer as far as the formula goes but super stunning it is a matte finish and this color in particular really pretty it's gonna go with a lot of looks so I really do like this blush right so the next items are for lips so I'm going to finish my eyelashes and then we'll keep it moving all right so I'm back and literally all I did was apply some of benefit roller lash mascara and gosh, mascara just makes the biggest difference. Another product that I purchased from the Patrick Ta collection is this Precision Lip Crayon. And these are very interesting. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this one, but this is in the shade She's Proud. And it has very beautiful rose gold packaging. I love the packaging of this collection. So the only thing is when you want the product, make sure you press out just enough because if you press it out all the way, you can't push it back in. I personally don't love that, but I haven't tried this on my lips yet i've only swatched it which by the way she looks like this and she's very matte and this looks like it'll go really good with my eyeshadow so this is like a very pretty nude color it's not like for a really deep nude lip i haven't put it in the center of my lips but i really just put it on the outside and it's not too defining but it does kind of create that line and make my lips look more visible i really like this color i don't know that i have a lip liner like this color as far as consistency goes it's waxier than color pop lip liners which are extremely creamy but it's more creamy than MAC lip liners, which are much more waxy. I would say though, this leans a little bit more waxy and matte, so it's a little bit more drying, but if you just put a gloss over it, it'll be fine. But the color, I'm just gonna put it all over because I love this shade of nude. It's like not too dark, but not too light either. Ooh, I really like that. I don't know that I love how waxy it is. I wish it was a bit more creamy. Really nice. I also don't know if I that I love the shape of this. It's like slanted and not really extremely thin. And I feel like once you use the tipped point, kind of like the ABH brow definer, it'll flatten out and it's not quite as easy to get precision. I like being able to sharpen my own lip pencils because you can really get it super pointy to really define your lips. So you can't do that with this. So on top, we're going to put the Silky Lip Cream, also from the Patrick Ta line. I picked up She's Secure. This one is more of a nude pink, a little bit more neutral toned. I've only swatched this, but it's actually a little bit more peachy. I thought it would be more pinky. Mm, it has like a little bit of a mintiness to it. I haven't watched any videos or anything on this product, so I'm completely figuring it out with you guys. Uh, it does seem to not be super moisturizing, but it is more creamy than a regular liquid lipstick. It's weird. It's like a hybrid between a really thick pigmented lip gloss and a liquid lipstick. I mean, but the result itself, really pretty. And honestly, these two actually go very well together color-wise. I'll have to continue to play with these two more, but I definitely like them. I don't think they'll end up being my favorite lip products ever, but 
really loving this lip liner color in particular. All right, so that's everything that I have to try on from the haul. Uh, I do have a couple of other things to show you that I picked up. So this is actually the last thing from the Sephora sale that I picked up. I picked this up on a separate occasion. Everything else was from the same online order, but you've already seen it, so I'm not gonna talk about it too much. I did pick up the Mercury Retrograde palette from Huda Beauty. I did do a full review and tutorial using this palette, so I'll link that down below. So I'm not gonna talk about this too much, but definitely worth every penny, especially with the 20% off. So if you want to pick this up, I believe either today or tomorrow is the last day. So seriously do it because this palette is so Stunning. And then I'll just show you two other palettes that I picked up. I picked them up from Morphe, not from the Sephora sale, but I figured I'd show you since they're in front of me. So I took a gander into Morphe and I've been eyeing this and I didn't think I was going to do it, but I did it. I picked up my first eyeshadow palette from Lunar Beauty and this is the Moonspell palette. And super cute packaging. Now, I normally, I don't really like Halloween-y, witchy kind of themed stuff normally. I like like pink and glitter, so this is completely not my taste, but it is super neat. And I love the color story here. So like I said, I've never purchased anything from Lunar Beauty. I don't watch Manny MUA really, but these colors are gorgeous. So I figured I'd try out the brand and I've only swatched these and so far they seem super stunning but have yet to put them on my eyes but really excited about that one also they have Nabla in stores now and I've never tried anything from the brand Nabla so I picked up this because it was gorgeous and this is the cutie palette in the nude style so there was two different ones the nude one really spoke to me this would be a great way to try out the formula I almost got the I believe it's the secret garden palette but those ones didn't speak to me as much as this one did even though it's only six shades like these are beautiful so again I've swatched these it seems stunning but I will keep you updated in fact you know what let me show you so this shade right here and this shade of course are the ones that are speaking to me let's okay that wasn't as impressive as I knew it could be but just know it's better so that is everything from my haul that I purchased for this sale just to run through really quickly the products that I did use so far I like the oil. I still think these Farsali oils might be a bit of a gimmick still, but it did make my skin feel pretty nice and the makeup did apply nice on top of it. So I'm not saying that it's not good, but I don't know that it's worth all of the hype. Surprisingly, I think I like the Charlotte Tilbury Exaggerize more than I thought I would given how kind of basic it looks. It's just such a pretty color story and it's a very simple quad, but it is really pretty. Like I actually am really loving how my eyeshadow looks right now. I think the blush is pretty nice. I love the color in particular. Uh, not the best formula that I've used, but not the worst. The lip liner in the shade She's Proud. I feel like more of a cool neutral lip liner. I am in love with this particular shade. Not really the packaging, but the liner and color itself. Stunning. And the lip cream, I'm gonna have to play with some more. It didn't knock my socks off, but I think the colors in the Patrick Ta collection are what makes these products really nice more than anything because I'm not blown away by any of these formulas, but man, I am loving those colors. Let me know what you ended up picking up for the sale. Make sure you go quickly run to Sephora or go to the website if you do want to get your discount for the sale. And that's what I picked up. I feel like I kept it more to a minimum than normal. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, have a good one.